The Ferry Rotodyne was a groundbreaking British vertical takeoff and landing aircraft developed in the 1950s by Ferry Aviation. Classified as a compound gyroplane, it aimed to bridge the gap between helicopters and fixed-wing airliners. Its most radical feature was a rotor powered by tip jets, combustion chambers at the ends of the rotor blades, fueled by a mixture of kerosene and compressed air bled from auxiliary compressors driven by the main turboprop engines. Work began in the aftermath of World War II when the British aviation sector was exploring rotorcraft. Ferry had already built the FB-1 Gyrodyne and the Jet Gyrodyne, which laid a technical foundation. The Jet Gyrodyne tested the tip jet concept in flight. By 1953, Ferry secured a contract from the Ministry of Supply to develop a 48-seat prototype, designated Rotodyne Type Y, powered by two Napier Eland NEI-3 turboshaft engines with auxiliary compressors for tip jet operation. Construction of the prototype began in 1954. Chief engineers included Dr. John Anthony Joseph Bennett, the inventor of the earlier Gyrodyne types, and later Dr. George Hislop after Bennett left the company. The airframe was manufactured at Ferries Hayes and Stockport plants, with final assembly at White Waltham Airfield. The prototype, serial number XE521, made its maiden flight on 6 November 1957, piloted by squadron leader Ron Gellitley and Lieutenant Commander John Morton. It successfully transitioned between vertical and horizontal flight by April 1958. On 5 January 1959, the Rotodyne set a world speed record of 307.2 km per hour, 190.9 miles per hour, for convertiplanes over a 100 km closed circuit. During testing, it flew over 100 hours, completed over 350 flights, and performed 230 transitions between flight modes. Structurally, the Rotodyne featured a four-bladed rotor, 89 feet in diameter, and fixed wings with propellers driven by the Eland engines, which also supplied compressed air through wing ducts to the rotor hub. The tip jets were made from heat-resistant mnemonic 75 and 80 alloys. For takeoff and landing, the rotor was powered. During cruise, it autorotated, with lift shared between the rotor and wings. The aircraft could carry up to 50 passengers or heavy cargo, including vehicles and bridge sections, loaded via clamshell cargo doors at the rear. Its maximum cruising speed was 150 to 200 knots, 280 to 370 kilometers per hour, and it had a range of around 250 nautical miles. Interest in the aircraft surged. British European Airways signed a letter of intent for six aircraft with options for 14 more, contingent on noise reduction and increased seating. The RAF considered 12 military versions. New York Airways placed an option for five aircraft. Japan Airlines and Canada's Okanagan helicopters also expressed intent. Ferry also signed a production agreement with Cayman Helicopters in the United States to build Rotodynes under license. Yet, challenges mounted. The tipjet noise exceeded 100 decibels, causing concern for city center operations. Although Ferry tested over 40 silencer variants, they couldn't bring the sound below the 96 decibel requirement despite progress that reduced noise to 95 decibels at 200 feet. Additionally, the rotor system was over 2,200 pounds heavier than projected. The Eland engine proved underpowered and inefficient, prompting plans to switch to Rolls-Royce Tyne engines for an enlarged Rotodyne Z, capable of carrying 66 to 75 passengers and up to eight tons of freight. In 1960, Ferry Aviation was absorbed by Westland Aircraft as part of a government-directed consolidation of British aerospace companies. Westland continued limited development but struggled to secure firm orders or resolve technical problems. Despite a £4 million development grant, neither British European Airways nor the RF confirmed production contracts. By February 1962, government funding ended. Westland cancelled the program. The prototype was dismantled and mostly destroyed. Only the rotor hub, a blade, a section of fuselage, and an Eland engine survive today at the Helicopter Museum in Weston Supermare. Though ultimately a commercial failure, the Ferry Rotodyne remains a pioneering concept in rotorcraft design. It combined vertical flight with efficient cruise performance and inspired later efforts such as the Augusta Westland AB609 and Eurocopter X3.
its technical audacity, elegant engineering, and troubled end remain a compelling chapter in aviation history.